Come on, girl, I'm not gonna do anything. Ow! Hey, good morning, welcome to the vlog. I hope that the start of your day is absolutely amazing. If you like unboxing things, I think you're gonna like this video because we're gonna start with unboxing some snakes right now. That's right, my ball python buddy sent me another batch of snakes. I don't know if there's one clutch, two clutches, four clutches. I have no idea what's in this box right here, but I do know they're gonna be absolutely awesome. And then we're going to open up a package that somebody sent the crew. I have no idea what's in that. And then I'm even gonna later on do a little bit of mail time and then to wrap things up, I want to pull some clutches big, so I don't know how you guys feel about it. I think it's going to be an awesome day, and I hope that the start of your day is amazing. What do you say we get started by opening up this box? What is in here? Let's see. Ooh, we've got one, we've got two, we've got three, and we've got four clutches today. Again, you never know what he's gonna send me because he sends me all kinds of amazing things all the time. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Okay, so this bag has, let's see, it says a black pastel Mojave spider orange ghost. That's a black pastel Mojave spider orange ghost bred to a pastel lesser bongo. The bongo gene is amazing. I don't even know what's in this bag. <gasps> There's some beautiful babies in this bag. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what some of this stuff is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it out. Okay, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is one gorgeous little baby right there. Oh my gosh. Take a look at that thing right there. I'm not even sure what that is. I mean, that is definitely a bongo that's a uh, Mojave, I think it's a black pastel, and then it's obviously het for orange ghosts. I mean, gosh, look at that thing. Can you believe how amazing that is? I mean, that thing is crazy. And uh, this is certainly another bongo, I think. I'm not even 100% sure what that is because it looks like it, I don't know what that is. I mean, take a look at that right there. Wow. That is crazy cool. Whoo! All right, so that's the first bag. And we also just have a, uh, it looks like just a bumblebee right here, uh, which is, again, not a problem. I mean, I love bumblebees, and bumblebees are absolutely gorgeous, but uh, this one uh, is just a bumblebee, and this one, I'm not really sure what this one is, to be totally honest with you. This one uh, looks to be maybe a Mojave, maybe a bongo? I'm not 100% sure. Again, sometimes after these things shed, you get a much better idea of what it actually is because I'll be honest with you, uh, that one I'm not 100% sure on, but I can tell you this much, that little monkey right there is absolutely incredible. I can't wait till that one sheds and we can see what is going on because that is crazy. So I'm hoping that I didn't just open up the best bag in the bunch. You know, he sends me some crazy stuff. So I'm assuming there's gonna be three nuts you know, more clutches that are absolutely incredible. But uh, wow. Okay guys, bag number two, getting ready to open up. Let's see what is in this bag. All right, so this one is actually a queen bee, which is a pastel lesser spider bred to an orange dream pastel yellow belly. I love orange dream stuff. So this is gonna be pretty amazing. Let's see what's in this bag. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, here we go. Oh, my goodness gracious. There's some beautiful, take a look at this, guys. Take a look at that. That is amazing, woo. That is a whole handful of amazing ball pythons. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into this. Now, what's interesting is that the Orange Dream and Spider stuff mixes so well. It just makes for really beautiful snakes. This happens to be one of them right there. This happens to be a Bumblebee Orange Dream, and you can just see how the Orange Dream really changes the way the spider looks, which is just absolutely incredible. And then we have, oh my gosh, we have some nice stuff here, guys. This looks like maybe a pastel lesser Orange Dream, or maybe even 
even a super pastel. I think it might be a super pastel lesser orange dream. That one is absolutely crazy. And then, oh my gosh, there are some crazy things in here. Take a look at that right there. Oh my gosh, look at that animal there. That is definitely a queen bee orange dream. Oh my gosh. And then this one, oh, this one is, cr oh my gosh, look at that snake right there, people. That is crazy. My gosh, that, this, I mean, just look at the color and pattern on that snake. I mean, that the blushing in that is ridiculous. I mean, wow, this is a great clutch. Oh my gosh, and here's another one that is just like it. So there's two of these that almost look exactly the same. Look at the two of these beauties right here. All right, so, uh. Clutch number two certainly didn't let me down. I mean, those are some of the prettiest snakes that I've seen in a long time. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this is. This is actually a lemon blast to a black granite. Not even sure what a black granite is, to be honest with you, but we'll take a look and see. Uh, I have a feeling that this one's gonna be a little bit more of a bland clutch because, you know, the, the lemon blast and any kind of, yeah, I mean, these are, there's some really beautiful snakes and I see what he's saying about the kind of granity look I mean, you can kind of see right here, you can see some of the dark one. Almost looks like chocolate ball pythons, to be totally honest with you. Yeah, I mean, I almost think that, I wonder if he's calling the black granite. Maybe it's like a really similar gene to the chocolate. I'm gonna have to ask you, because this certainly looks like a pastel chocolate, and it looks like some lemon blast chocolates, and even chocolate pinstripes in here. So I have a feeling that whatever he's thinking is a black granite is really a chocolate ball python. Still beautiful snakes, but definitely not the stunners that we saw in the last clutch. But these are, I actually like the chocolatey colored snake because to me I like that earth tone color but to a lot of people you know they they really prefer the the brighter color so we're definitely going to have to put these guys away what do they shed they'll look so much better but those are really beautiful snakes for sure okay guys last bag for unboxing snakes let's see what we got here all right this is a mojave bee to a super pewter and then it's a mojave bee so uh, should be some pretty interesting animals for sure oh yeah these are pretty Ooh, look at the silver, and oh, that's actually really nice. I mean, those really earth tony looks, take a look at those. Those really silvery looks, I mean, take a look at those and how beautiful those are. Wow, let's go ahead and look at each one of these really quick. This is really something here. This uh, is really amazing. I mean, you can see that kind of really silvery look to them. That's a really beautiful snake. And then take a look at this one here. Wow, take a look at that one right there. I mean, guys, that is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I can't even believe how nice that looks. These are really beautiful snakes. I mean, really, really faded and just really gorgeous. So uh, again, my buddy did it again. He killed me. Just gosh, handfuls of beautiful snakes. I am so excited. What a bunch of beautiful snakes. So again, we have some other unboxing. As a matter of fact, like I said, I think Lori is going to open up something with the rest of the crew that we received. I have no idea what's in it, but uh, Lori's going to do that in a minute, I believe. So we got a package that was sent to us. I know Tina took the phone call and they said they were sending something for her and all of the people here. So this time I'm gonna open it so Brian doesn't cut whatever's in here to shreds. And if it's good, I'm not gonna share. Let's see what this is. Oh! <laughs> now this is fun for the whole crew. We got 500 water balloons and a bunch of squirt gun water squirt guns. <laughs> oh, this is awesome! And there's something else too that has to get open. Let's see. Oh, this is a super fun one. Just in time for the holiday. What the heck is in this? Oh my god, are, are they, they pins? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm thinking oh. it's maracas. <laughs> You're right, it's bowling set. Wow, this is awesome. Is there a note to say who this is from? To everyone for her beautiful baby snakes. Hopefully this stuff can make break time a little bit more fun from Jen. 
Well, Jen, I think that you've added a lot of fun <laughs> to our thing. We can't wait to go bowling, and I can't wait to smash the crap out of Brian with these water balloons and squirt guns. So, I <laughs> looks like next break time is going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Jen. That was so nice. Okay, Jennifer, we're going to try out your bowling game and see how good we do it certainly looks like fun and this is the perfect alleyway for it, don't you think? That was a lot of fun. Jennifer, thank you so much. This is going to be hours and hours of fun. And, and hey, listen, that other stuff with the squirt guns, that's coming up sometime too. Stay tuned. You know a day can't go by without me at least pulling a clutch of eggs for you guys. And actually, Lori pulled some Kluber clutches earlier in the day. So literally, there's only one clutch that she left behind that wasn't quite done laying yet. So let's see what she has real quick. And it's just a corn snake. Let's see what you have. Okay. Oh, not too many eggs in there, but... It's a nice clutch. I mean, it's not bad. We live. Ow! Did you see that? <laughs> what a crazy little monkey. She wanted to bite me. Come on, girl. I'm not going to do anything. Ow! Sheesh! Wow! She's upset. <laughs> I tell you what, she definitely does not want. Don't, don't bite me again, please. Ah. You know, it's not like it hurts that bad, but I mean, you could see it definitely. You know punctures the skin a little bit and that's not fun so let me just see i should have probably got oh she's really feisty but yeah she only had five eggs and she doesn't even look like she laid eggs i mean look at how fat she looks hmm. that is really something else so that's basically it i'll set these five eggs up and then i'm going to wrap it up here for the night i'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here thank you so much for tuning in you guys are absolutely wonderful and i hope that you have an incredible day ahead of you or night whichever time you're watching this can you do me a favor and smash that like button and hit that notification bell for me make sure to be kind to somebody and i promise i'm going to see you tomorrow <laughs> <laughs>